assalamu alaikum dear students i hope all of you are fine i am your instructor dr fayaz and i am serving in com city university islamabad today our topic is about bloom's taxonomy this topic is very important in nearly all the disciplines and nearly in all the all the subjects and with all the instructors they are expected to know about bloom's taxonomy due to its wide application and significance why is bloom taxonomy so important let us know about this so in this first slide you can see a picture and this is about this is the picture of benjamin bloom who introduced bloom taxonomy in the year 1956 in his work which was called taxonomy of educational objectives bloom himself was a teacher a thinker an inventor and also an educational psychologist why he chose the word taxonomy aakhir taxonomy kyun kaha gaya uski kafi wajuhat hain first of all taxonomy is the art of grouping things this enables us to arrange ideas to arrange different objects and then we name them we classify them for example if we come to chemistry to chemistry mein apna ek tarike ka hai mukhtalif cheezon ko mukhtalif terms ko naam dene ka agar hum aate hain towards physics to wahan pe apna ek terms hai एक क्लासिफिकेशन के प्रिंसिपल्स हैं इसी तरह साइकोलॉजी में अपने टर्म्स हैं विच आर स्पेसिफिक टू द टू साइकोलॉजी एंड वी नीम डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ बिहेवियर एंड डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ एक्शंस बेस्ड ऑन दैट पर्टिकुलर क्लासिफिकेशन तो इसी तरह एजुकेशन में भी बेंजामिन ब्लूम ने एक टेक्सोनोमी एक लेवल ऑफ क्लासिफिकेशन बनाई है और इसीलिए इन्होंने टेक्सोनोमी का वर्ड यूज किया now this taxonomy provides a framework for categorizing educational goals and objectives it enables us to understand about the different educational goals which are being propagated by an instructor for a particular topic let's proceed towards the next slide and here you can see an image in which there are step by step stairs and why these uh, steps are given here because according to benjamin bloom the behavior is behavior also progresses step by step behavior is taught to be cumulative you progress step by step going from the lower one towards the higher one and remember you cannot skip any of the step if you want to achieve to the top ये ऐसा नहीं है जिस तरह हमारी लाइफ में कि आप स्टेज को स्किप कर सकते हो बिहेवियर में यू हैव टू फॉलो अ सीक्वेंस एंड एंड देन यू विल फाइनली रीच टूवर्ड्स द मैच्योरिटी अ चाइल्ड कैन नॉट स्टार्ट रनिंग अनलेस इट पासिस थ्रू द स्टेजेस ऑफ सिटिंग स्टैंडिंग एंड देन वॉकिंग एंड फाइनली रनिंग एंड देयर फॉर दिस बिहेवियर प्रोग्रेसिस स्टेप बाय स्टेप from simple to more complex and similarly it also applies to knowledge even that you start with simple and then you towards go towards higher higher knowledge for example a child cannot learn algebra unless he first of all learn the art of arithmetics the art of addition and subtraction and then finally it will lead the child towards a more complex behavior of learning algebra let's move towards the next slide a uh, bloom describe the educational objectives under three main domains what are those three domains first cognitive the second is affective and the third is psychomotor cognitive refers to knowledge and intellectual abilities so you can see it relates mostly to our brain the thinking process and the mental abilities or the mental processes that happens 
इफेक्टिव में हमारी फीलिंग्स आती हैं हमारी इमोशंस आती हैं सो इट रिलेट्स टू दैट पर्टिकुलर डिवेलपमेंट ऑफ फीलिंग्स एंड एटीट्यूड्स व्हेन वी लर्न डिफरेंट इंफॉर्मेशन व्हेन वी लर्न डिफरेंट ऑब्जेक्टिव्स एंड फाइनली द एजुकेशन शुड आल्सो एम एट प्रमोटिंग द साइकोमोटर स्किल्स साइकोमोटर स्किल रिलेट्स टू द आर्ट ऑफ मूविंग द मसल्स the fine motor muscles and the gross motor muscles which will enable us to improve the speed of moving our muscles to do a thing more fast as well as to do the thing with accuracy now in this presentation we would focus on cognitive objectives or the cognitive domain in cognitive domain bloom taxon bloom further classify learning objectives into six levels and bloom explain that these levels of learning go from simple to complex as already mentioned that behavior is cumulative and therefore this learning should take a path it progresses from from a simple step from a more basic information and then goes towards a higher level of information and again the higher levels cannot be attained unless the lowers are covered so what are those six levels of learning so in this pyramid you can see all the six levels of learning which are given which is given by bloom in his initial work that was published in 1956 at the base you can see knowledge which comes first so that's the most simplest simplest one and then followed by comprehension application analysis synthesis and finally evaluation knowledge comes first without knowledge a person cannot comprehend or understand and similarly after taking the knowledge and understanding one can go towards the application and then we go towards more and more higher level of thinking or higher level of educational objectives let us know about each of these different levels first of all the knowledge knowledge relates to the recall of facts it relates to gaining information it relates to knowing about the method or the process that is taking place or to understand to know about the pattern to know about the structure so these kind of factual information relates to the knowledge level the second is comprehension remember comprehension builds on the first level of knowledge so as the knowledge is sought by the by the students by the learners so then they process that information towards a higher level of understanding and comprehension and with this enable the learner to interpret the knowledge gained and to distinguish it from other knowledge and differentiate uh between the different aspects of the knowledge third is application in which the learner apply the information that is being learned and while understanding it the learner can now apply the information in new situation to solve any problem the analysis which relates to breaking down information into smaller bits so this would enable us to to predict about the learner outcome and to visualize that how a learner can can split the information that he, that the learner has learned and distinguish between the different parts and also understand about the hierarchy and the relation between the different parts synthesis is a higher level of uh, cognitive domain in which the person can combine the elements and the parts again to form a whole ye bilkul aisa hi hai 
कि जैसे हम किसी भी मशीनरी को ओपन कर लेते हैं तो ये एनालिसिस के जिम्मे में आएगा सो वी आर प्लेइंग दैट पर्टिकुलर मशीनरी एंड वी आर ओपनिंग द नट्स एंड वी आर ओपनिंग ऑल द स्क्रूज एंड वी आर सेपरेटिंग ऑल द ऑल द पार्ट्स एंड अगेन इफ वी कैन मेक ऑल दिस पार्ट्स कम टुगेदर कंबाइन टुगेदर टू अगेन रीअसेंबल द ओरिजिनल ओरिजिनल मशीनरी then this means that we have achieved a higher level of learning but the problem with the everyday life is that most of us when we open when we go through this kind of experience it's very difficult to fix it and therefore it requires practice or it requires more information about the application and the analysis which will then further help us in the synthesis the final is evaluation which leads to judging the value of the information to assess the worth of the different ideas or the different information that has been learned by the learner so how the learner can conclude or infer different kind of value from the information and use it for the benefit and utility of of the of humanity or the utility of the knowledge itself so that's all from this this part of the video in the next video we will go and explain the modification that was introduced in bloom taxonomy and what type of questions can be asked from the different levels of the bloom taxonomy i hope you understand the topic i wish you good luck thank you allah hafiz